The Duke and Schulte collaborated on a great innovation now known as the London Cut or the English Drape. By cutting the canvas at about 30 degrees, they made the jacket less rigid. At about the same time in Paris, Madeleine Vionnet was pioneering her bias cut. The Duke of Windsor is well known for his romance with Wallace Simpson and his subsequent abdication of the throne in 1936, but he should be memorialized for the revolutionary impact he had on traditional men's fashion and his continued legacy today. The Duke was brought up in the best menswear traditions, yet he pioneered a unique style that changed everything. The Duke had all of his jackets made by Frederick Schulte of Seven Savile Row in London. The same Schulte who was one of the mentors of Pear Anderson of Anderson and Shepherd, one of the great tailoring houses in Savile Row even today that continue to make jackets for the likes of King Charles amongst others. Together, the Duke and Schulte collaborated on a great innovation now known as the London Cut or the English Drape. By cutting the canvas at a slight angle at about 30 degrees, they made the jacket less rigid and stretchable. And that was really important for the Duke. The Duke had grown up in a rigid and structured menswear tradition, but he was all about comfort and freedom. This was world-shaking for the establishment's traditions because they were based on structural, structured military tailoring as well. Alan Flusser believes that the London cut, and that London cut drape, was inspired by the guards jacket of the Grenadier Guards of London, which was one of the regiments of the Prince of Wales, which was what the Duke of Windsor was known as. Before. But I think that it's fascinating that at about the same time in Paris, Madeleine Vionnet was pioneering her bias cut, which is almost identical to the drape in Paris Couture for Women. The Duke died in 1972. His wife, the Duchess of Windsor, died in 1986. And even though he was one of the most photographed men in the entire world during his lifetime, the sale of his estate by Sotheby's gives us a unique perspective on his uh, clothing so that we can dive into the details of his suits and explore exactly what his personal style was like. The Duke had all of his jackets made by Frederick Schulte of Seven Savile Row.